Okay, so we just made uh, toggle deferred, at least a very crude version. Before we go any further, I'd like to make a few small improvements. Yeah, nice. So uh, the first thing is just uh, this. Um, we decided to go with go instead of jump because that's what uh, Emacs uses. But Emacs uses go to. Oh, nice. So that's just a little nitpick. Uh, and the other thing, I'm not sure if it's important at this point, but uh, generally I prefer to, when I have a go to function, I prefer to factor out finding the position. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we'd have to work around it. I don't think it's worth it at this point. But maybe just keep a note of it um, that maybe having Buster current test position or something like that would make it easier for other people to work with this code. Yeah. Uh, back to our feature file. So do we need some more tests for this? Do, do we want to make it more robust or should we just move on? Like, do we want to support single quote characters? I'm not sure. Do we? <laughs> well, we'll <laughs> we can support it uh, faster than we could discuss it, so let's just uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. do it. Single code test. We're quite inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, a lot of uh, like modern uh, JavaScript style guides use single codes. So I guess it would be useful to support it. Yeah. For those uh, poor bastards. <laughs> Now you should see uh, this, basically. Yeah. OK, that should be failing. And also, uh, we talked about this earlier, that you should actually have the code yeah. here. There we go. And that should just pass. It's not. Mm -hmm. So we'll not get sidetracked by that. There you go, sir. Thank you. Ah, it's, we're also noticing a different problem, because it's uh, failing very loudly. Yeah, it says uh, search failed. Yeah. yeah so yeah. We, can we should probably tell that search to not throw errors. Yeah. That's, an, that's another test, but... Uh, the, the tests are so large, <laughs> they're so <laughs> verbose that I don't want to have lots of tests for every tiny little thing. Okay. So let's just look at the function. Uh, there's no bound, but there should be no error. Yeah, right. So it's just nil and true. And we can run it again and check it. So now it now we get an expectation fault instead. Okay, that's cool. Let's try and see if we can get the rebuilder into this action. Go back and do rebuilder. Oh, it's already here. <laughs> That's pretty nice. So there's there's this that's no longer needed for... You, you don't escape the square brackets, it looks like. Okay. Are you sure? No. No? Let's see if I did it like this. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty much... This is a guest-driven development. Guest-driven development. <laughs> yes. But we have instant feedback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guesses are nice. Let's see. As long as you're some educated guesses, I guess. Yeah. So this seems to work. And yeah. there we go. Good. So now we're supporting slightly more. How come there's 15 scenarios? I have no idea. <laughs> Are those all the and lines? 12, 12 of them passed. <laughs> there, there's something seriously wrong here. Um, I think actually it counts uh, 15 scenarios. It's including the line scenario. Okay. And the green ones are passing. <laughs> it has to be it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> because these are 15 and those are 12. So steps is just the number of lines in that file. Yeah. That's not useful information at all. No. No, okay. <laughs> so, are we now done? Yeah. Cool. Support hipster votes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, now we have a working feature with the key binding. Unfortunately, the key binding is global in every buffer. 
So I guess the natural next step is to define a minor mode and bind no. the key binding to the minor mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I agree. So let's let's make a test for it. You can just pop it in here mm -hmm. and um, see how it works. So I'll see then I should not see slash contains because we're not in that minor mode. And I turn on buster mode. Yeah, sweet. Let's just add that line to all the other tests. Yeah. Ah, huh, now they're all failing. Sweet, thank you. So uh, let's see, uh, symbols function definition is void, buster mode. So we have to define the mode. Yeah. So Emacs actually has a nice uh, built-in utility for doing this. Uh, it's called define minor mode. Yes. It's a macro that takes a huge amount of arguments. Uh, define minor mode. And then comes the mode, which is buster mode. Then there's a doc string. Okay, so uh, buster mode. Let's see, doc is the documentation for the mode toggle command. Okay. Uh, and then we have, uh, so the initial value. It's nil, because it's not on by default. Right. And then there's the uh, lighter, that's the mode line thing. Yeah. And this is pretty quirky. You'd think that the mode line were at least like a list of strings or something. It's just the one huge string. So yeah. you have to provide your own space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it becomes clobbered onto other stuff. Yeah. It's it's pretty weird. Yeah, but I'll say buster, uh, maybe even I don't know. Uh, Let's just keep it short. Yeah. And uh, then we have the key map and where's the key map? We don't have a key map at this point. Um, Let's make one. Yeah. Uh, that would be by uh, the standard name for it is buster mode map. Right. And so that in, we can define it like this as a var. Yep. Yeah. Mode map. Uh, default value. Yeah, it's got no default value. Or maybe it should have a default value. No. So buster. Uh, this is kind of meaningless. Buster mode came out. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. And then. Okay, should we give it a default value? Well, we could just do make sparse key map, I guess, as a default value. Okay. What does that do? Well, there's two kinds of key maps. Um, there's the key maps that have lots of uh, entries, like a global map. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the sparse key map is more optimized for short lists of, of, of keys. Okay. So most modes actually use a sparse key map. And now we can just add stuff to that key map? Yeah. I guess org mode doesn't use sparse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> so uh, we want to use a uh, define key, and then the buster mode map, and where's our key binding? It's here. Yeah. Let's see. Map. How does that look? Yes, that looks actually pretty good, I think. Yeah. So we can take that one away, uh, and that should be it. Okay. Yeah. So we have some green, but not all of them. Oh, uh, okay. That's because we're actually turning it on and off now. <laughs> we have to. Yeah, we're toggling it. For, yeah, yeah every we're time. so we should in the environment turn it off. That's, that's like in the before hook. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's usually how we do these things in the support environment. Always turn off, like here. Uh, always turn off buster mode. Right. So I should fix it. Ah, sweet, nice. And then I'm also seeing that uh, maybe. At some point, these two lines, we could replace them with a macro that would just give TD and then the function. Yeah. Maybe.
We'll see. We'll see. I, th I think we, we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion. Also, macros are cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, create a buster mode, minor mode, buster minor mode. That was strange. Yeah. Keep our key bindings. Key bindings. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually right. <laughs> nice.